So I was scrolling on YouTube a few months ago and I came across a video called I Forced Myself to Get Addicted to Vape by some guy named Bodhi Neem. I'm not 100% sure who this guy is. I'm guessing he's a TikToker. I'm not really sure. As of now, the video came out three months ago, but it hit my algorithm, honestly, in the first like week. I don't remember how many views the video had at the time, but it's nowhere close to where it is now as it's at 6.4 million, which is actually crazy. Even though the video has a crazy amount of views, it doesn't take a genius to realize that this idea is so fucking stupid. But because of its success, tons of other creators started copying this whole like, I got addicted to whatever for one week, which is honestly so bad because these videos basically copy a Mr. Beast format of like a challenge, which is directly promoting all these drugs to younger audiences, basically little children. But because of the success and all the copycats, of course, there's going to be some bad apples. And one of those guys is Scoozy. All right, actually, before I get into this, I'm gonna take a step back. This guy might be scarier than I think. His name is Scoozy with Uzi, and his description is, I am Scoozy with an Uzi. So I don't know who I'm calling out here, but I'm gonna watch out. This dude looks super scary. I don't want him pulling up on me and trying to get me like addicted to like crystal meth or something like that. All right, let's get into it. Cigarettes, they suck, but a ton of people love them. So today I'm gonna be forcing myself to get addicted to cigarettes. But before I light up my first dart, let's go speak to some cigarette smokers on what they think about my journey to addiction. Uh, excuse me, man. Yeah, uh, I see you're smoking a cigarette there, and I just have a couple of questions. Do you mind? The first thing Scoozy does in this video is go interview people who are smoking cigarettes. And it just looks so staged off the bat because he's walking up there with his super, like, prepped up YouTube voice. Like, hey, I see you smoking a cigarette. Like, no one talks like that in real life. I don't know why the fuck you'd approach normal people like that. So I don't think this first interaction is real at all. Then the other interviews aren't even worth watching. It's exactly what you'd expect. Stupid kid going up to people being like, should I start smoking? Them saying no, obviously, because why would you intentionally get a cigarette addiction? This whole segment was probably done just to stretch the video out so this kid could make as much money as possible. Okay guys, now that we talked about some cigarette smokers about my journey to addiction, I went and bought me a pack of cigarettes. Now, I asked the lady in the front to give me the weakest kind, cause low key, this is my first time smoking a cig, smoking anything. As I opened up my first ever pack of cigarettes, I was traumatized by the smell. Damn! Oh my, God. smell that shit, bro. It does make you feel kind of cool to have a cigarette in your mouth. Now the moment of truth, sparking up this cigarette. There's no way I'm getting addicted to this shit, bro. It's disgusting. As I kept smoking the cigarette, the side effects caught up to me pretty quickly. I feel like, like dizzy. Like, I don't know if that's what cigarettes do to you, but I feel like my body's like buzzing. As I kept smoking, an unwanted guest came out of nowhere and said this. What are you doing? Are you smoking? <laughs> Sorry, mom. No. This clip right here basically proves that the whole video is fake. I don't know about you guys, but if my mom walked in on me smoking a cigarette, I wouldn't be here to talk right now. I'd be fucking six feet under. So the fact that this kid's mom just walked in on him smoking a cigarette inside and goes, you're grounded, proves it's fake right away. Like what parent wouldn't freak out? But you know what? Our friend Scoozy inspired. I think I'm going to make my own video about getting addicted to cigarettes for a week. Well, I'm not a Sigma male like Scoozy over here. I'm not trying to start a lifelong addiction. So I'm going to buy some fake cigarettes. This can't be right. I was looking on Amazon to find the fake cigarettes for the upcoming video. And I found these ones that look very similar to the ones that are in Scoozy's video right here. Isn't that a crazy coincidence? Okay guys, so my mom was low key mad at me, but I told her why I was doing it and she kind of eased up a little bit, but she's still kind of anxious about it it's about an hour after i smoked my first cigarette and now i'm going to smoke another one but instead of smoking one i'm going to smoke two at the same time and just like that not even 24 hours later i'm smoking two cigarettes at the same time it tastes like shit even though i seem like a natural smoking two cigarettes at the same time i still couldn't handle the nasty taste 
I find it hilarious the way he says he was smoking two cigarettes as if that's something that people actually do. I don't know about you, but in all my years of living, I've never once seen a person smoke two cigarettes at once. I'm done covering this video. A YouTuber by the name of Clown300 made a full commentary on it, so check him out down below. Watch his video instead of watching Scoozy's original. Don't give support to that piece of shit. Support Clown300 instead. His video is really good. Plus, he had PVZ Garden Warfare 2 a gameplay in the background, which as we all know is the best game ever. But his video on Scoozy actually caused a response from Mr. Uzi himself, where he left a comment on his video, which I think he deleted now, and actually posted a YouTube video himself to essentially respond. I messed up. Within the past couple of months, I've been posting videos where I forced myself to get addicted to a series of things such as cigarettes and even weed. Before I made these videos, I had no idea that I was actually gonna get addicted. I thought it was gonna be a quick YouTube video and you know, I would be okay. The fact that he's doubling down on having an addiction to cigarettes and weed is absolutely crazy. Considering how obvious it is that his videos were faked and staged, he could have easily made a video being like, hey, it was all views, it was a skit. My bad for being misleading, I thought it was obvious. Everyone would have moved on. No one would have looked at this dude's channel again. He could have gone back to his shitty dumpster diving videos. But that is not what happened. After posting these videos, I low-key suffered symptoms of withdrawals. I didn't realize how much I was sweating or how nervous I was getting for no reason. And then I realized it was because I was craving cigarettes. And honestly, half the time I would just procrastinate waiting for the next dose to come. Home. And it's weird because even though I felt relieved after smoking a cigarette, I knew deep down that what I was doing was not good for my body and that kind of gave me anxiety too. Talking about the withdrawals, he went through as a complete dick move considering he had no fucking withdrawals because this was all fake the whole time. I couldn't imagine being someone who is actually going through addiction and seeing this guy lie and talk about how tough it is, when in reality all he did was smoke herbal cigarettes and fake weed carts. When I wasn't smoking, I was stressed because I needed the cigarette. When I was smoking, I was stressed because I was smoking. So honestly, if I were to be honest, I haven't been doing great mentally at all. I've been feeling like a loser, been feeling like a loser, been feeling like a loser. I'm gonna wrap it up here. This kid's a fucking loser for faking addiction and his anxiety is probably from him knowing he's lying to hundreds of thousands of people. Obviously, don't send any hate to Scoozy. At the end of the day, this is all just YouTube. Again, make sure to check out Clown300 and like and subscribe if you want to see me get addicted to heroin.